Hey guys, how are you? Uh, it's great to see you again. Uh, I'm Eva, your uh, personality and talent development psychologist. Um, today I'm here to talk about two phenomenons. Uh, one of them is called uh, shooting yourself and uh, well the other one one is called masturbation. Uh, so what are these? Uh, so shooting yourself is uh, you know telling yourself that you should do something. You know this um, very often is this internal voice telling you uh, you know, I should really clean up the apartment, I should be nice to people, um, you know, regardless of uh, what they do to me, etc. And, uh, well, basically the same is uh, the thing with masturbation, you know, it's just I must uh, to do something. I must uh, earn a lot of money to be really happy uh, and successful, perceive as, as successful uh, in my life. So. How do we actually get uh, these uh, thoughts? Um, because, um, you know, I'm quite sure that when I was talking about them, I already um, kind of evoked a certain feeling, a certain pressure, uh, something quite negative uh, uh, in you. Um, and uh, that's really quite common because uh, we often perceive this as something negative. So where does it come from? So, you know, since our childhood, we are being told by our parents, by our friends, uh, by um, the society we live in that, uh, you know, there are certain things we should do and uh, certain things we must do. Um, or, um, you know, we, some things we shouldn't do or some things we uh, can't do. Um, and, um, you know, it actually creates a certain system of uh, values, of restrictions, of rules. And, uh, you know, we kind of internalize it over time. So something that was, uh, you know, our mom's voice or our uh, schoolmate voice or our bestie voice, kind of becomes our internal voice so we we kind of carry it around uh, doesn't matter uh, if these particular people are there and usually it even doesn't matter if anyone's around um i bet you noticed that uh, you know uh, even uh, sometimes when you're alone somewhere and you're thinking about doing something against these rules um, you know we kind of feel this uh, pressure we hear this internal voice like hey this is really not okay you really shouldn't do this and um, well here's the truth many of these rules many of these guidelines are really helpful and positive you know it's how we um you know come around uh, with other people it's how we make our societies more or less functional uh, and many of these rules and guidelines and values actually become uh, our laws um, so that's uh, how they also get kind of formalized. But, uh, you know, sometimes some of these rules, some of these shoulds, some of these musts aren't that helpful at all. And uh, because uh, we are used to rely on them, it's often quite hard to really identify um, those uh, that uh, aren't really helpful, uh, those that are useless, or those that are um, even harming ourselves. Uh, so what should we do about it? Or what can we do about it? Because it really creates uh, very often um, this feeling of pressure or it kind of um, restricts 
our behavior and sometimes we don't even get to do something we really enjoy and something we might uh, um, you know do better than other people some uh, things uh, we might actually create um, you know some value we might create so the first thing is if uh, something is a law you should definitely follow it so I'm, I'm not I'm really talking about these um, uh, shoulds and musts that are you know like I should clean up my apartment every weekend I really should go to a university you know I must have a degree or I must uh, go to a law school because uh, my dad always wanted me uh, to be a lawyer or um, you know I must uh, really earn good money because otherwise I can't be happy or um, you know I always have to be nice to people even uh, when they are um, really mean to me even when they are Kind of pushing me to do some things I really don't enjoy, I really don't want to do, and uh, I some things I really feel bad about. Uh, so, you know, good thing is to really inspect your feelings because very often these internalized guidelines are so automatical that we often don't get that we are actually following some internalized some external internalized rule that we might not be okay with so in this case actually your gut feeling might be a good signal that there's uh, something you know something um, um, shady going on um, and the the next step might be to really inspect your values and uh, actually your mission here in this world and to get really clear about what your ideal self is and then you should take <laughs> see i said should <laughs> you you can take these shoots and musts uh, that are pushing you somewhere you don't want to and you uh, you want to um, find out if they are compatible with the person you want to be, with the person you really um, need to become to be happy, to feel fulfilled in your life. And also, you should think about all the possible consequences um, that can happen once you get rid of your should or of your must and these consequences might be uh, positive but there might be also negative consequences because um, you know it's life uh, it's not uh, black and white um, <laughs> usually you get something amazingly col colorful out of it so um, just uh, find out if uh, you know the final um, makes the final color the final shade you get out of it is compatible with you if it suits you if it uh, makes you feel good and if it makes other people around you feel good as well okay so um, that's really you know one way or, or some ways how to overcome your shoulds and your musts and uh, of course uh, you will encounter some difficulties some hurdles because as I already said these um, things are already internalized they are part of ourselves they are um, automated it's autopilot for you very often so um it might be a real struggle to get rid of them so um you know the, there's uh, of course uh, this uh, uh great advice um 
don't give up try it over and over again even if you didn't succeed uh, um, you know uh, as your, uh, at first so um, I mean that's evergreen that's uh, that's really something you should stick to your whole life um, but um, then um, also be really clear about your values and about your ideal self and sometimes don't be afraid to do something spontaneous uh something um you know just dive right in and uh also don't be afraid to ask other people for their help because also once you share this with someone else with someone who is able to support you then this person can also help you tremendously to tackle uh your shoulds and your wants uh you must um and uh you know they can also be a um, very um uh, very important part of your final victory and if you feel that talking to someone uh could help you with your shoots and with your musts and you kind of feel like you don't have anyone to do that then uh let me know get in touch and uh well we'll see what we can do about it i absolutely believe that you can do um you can do a great change in this and uh you know step by step you can get rid of things that push you in a way you really don't want to be okay uh so it was great talking to you guys uh, thank you thank all of you who joined today um and uh well uh i see you soon uh have a great time Bye.